Great. Okay, well, thank you for being in the Lighting Talks in the new generation we are experimenting new things. I'm going to talk about a crazy idea I have that is how to do disruptive learning experiments. I, I always have been inviting people to come here to the Silicon Valley to have some talks. And really, one of the things I love it is how to encase learning communities. I created um, this concept because I, I want to do a workshop that is about 20 hours, two hours a day for 10 days, and help people to understand how you create the projects in the Silicon Valley flame. These people that come from everywhere else from the world, they come here and say, hey, how things happen here? Why there are so many startups? And the thing here is if you want to develop the skills of the people that comes here, it's not easy because they, they figure out that if you walk across the streets in the uh, Google buildings or you go through the uh, buildings in the LinkedIn, you already are a master to create your own startup. And that is far, far away from the reality. That way, I created this concept and is how to create from idea to a product. That usually for the people here in the valley, these five stages is the way you go, everybody has that in mind. <laughs> but people that never have done a product or never seen somebody doing a product, they don't have any clue idea about that. And in that sense, how to do the design of a new idea? Everybody say, hey, create a value proposition. What that means? Hey, you need to create an MVP. What? the minimum viable product, something that is a prototype and the people can test it. You need to build it, you need to put it that in operations, and hopefully the people like it and you need to improve and get into the second and the third and the fourth iteration to create enough products. And I try to do that in two weeks. How to tell them people about that with a learn and design stage, doing the planning, and once they learn in two weeks, they have a life forever to build the products. That means the design and planning is happens in the first two weeks, and then they need to engage in how to do it. I run, I run uh, several workshops uh, some time ago. With this structure, how you have a one day, two hours, eight hours, whatever time that you can allocate to do these things, then you have a daily challenge. What am I going to accomplish today? That is one of the hardest part. The people say, I want to build a big project, but they don't understand that any project starts with one step. And you need to figure out what is that daily challenge. How you define that daily challenge is critical. And now when you define the challenge, comes the next step. How you are able to have the knowledge to solve or fix that challenge. That is another issue. And say, okay, oh, use Lean Startup or use uh, Design Thinking. Or, and everybody give you thousands of ideas. But really, a lot of people say, hey, how I learn that? I try to do that in the first stage, the challenge definition is done in advance. The knowledge is shared in a half an hour or 45 minutes. Then build groups of people. If you have a, a, a room like this one with 40 people and you start to create groups of three or four people and say, discuss how you do it. And every day you switch teams because everybody learns in different ways and you learn from somebody else and take advantage of that. And you start doing that social exploration in about an hour using a concept that is called the work cafe. The work cafe is how to discuss things, generate some ideas, and reach a point that you learn something and you come to a reflection. What did you learn? And what is your post-mortem after that? Then the next big challenge, and this one is an amazing complex. For us, it's very easy. We post in LinkedIn, we post in Twitter, we post everywhere. But a lot of people are afraid about that. The idea is at the end of these two hours, they should have 15 minutes to write down 
what they are going to share with the people about what they learn, what is the post -mortem. That happening every day allows you to create a challenge. And one of the things I, I, I am looking is, if I ask to people that is going to do the first time a product, usually they don't have an idea and they are going to change, to choose whatever they used to do. It. How to manage the invoicing, how to do a point of sales, things that here in the Silicon Valley has, has done thousands of years ago. The question here is I want to give them a challenge and say, okay, this, uh, uh, this community, the Club the Science, the Sciences, is a very interesting project that has been going for 10 years. Since 19, uh, uh, 2014, a group of people in Mexico, in Guanajuato, start to create an idea to share the knowledge, to bring somebody from abroad and give them a one week seminar. And that process has gone fantastically. Today, every year, they got, uh, according to the reports that are in the website, about a million dollars, a million and a half dollars, and they, they get people from all around the world to fly to Mexico and have about a thousand seminars in a week. And they just pay for the trip, the food, and the, uh, the hotels for the people. They, the people enjoy that and has been a huge amount of very interesting people that comes here. And that's a way that they have created a community. Can you imagine if you have a thousand people involved every year, 10 years, that's a lot of people already. And how you build that? I want to, from that learning experience, invite people, say how we do that. Can you imagine here in the Hacker Dojo, we do a lot of things every single day. And sometimes, like now, we are recording that things and we leave it that. But a lot of times, things happen without anybody knows about that. I really invite you, I want you to be a multiplier. Please transfer your ideas into projects and resources all around the world. Thank you.